The vibe in the dining room at Trace here is upbeat. It's a great place to come in or a unique experience. Food's casual and approachable. Things you aren't going to normally get to see when you're at home. And you know, you can get in, you can get out, and enjoy the town. The menus here at Trace are uh, definitely built around the seasons and what our local farmers have available. Um, take a few unique ideas I've had from past experience and put it into a, an easily approachable concept. I never want anybody to feel intimidated. I want them to know that they're getting great local produce uh, at the height of the season, fresh from the farmers. For the farmers that I happen to know and come by the restaurant weekly. I tend not to follow trends, I just, uh, just cook good food. So the aquaponics system here on the fourth floor terrace we have is uh, essentially an enclosed ecosystem. Uh, we have uh, koi fish on the bottom. Uh, the water that they live in is pumped up and feeds hydroponically grown plants that live on the top. Uh, we actually have a dish that's a play on that uh, whole system uh, on our menu right now. It's the uh, Hawaiian kona kampachi with rooftop flowers. Uh, fermented peppers and citrus. It's a crudo dish with fish on the bottom of the plate and then we load it up with all these beautiful garnishes that we grow in the aquaponic system. So we've got the flowers on the top and the fish on the bottom. A little, uh, little play on the whole system. So our autumn vegetable tartine is fresh vegetables that I find at the local markets. It's put on a piece of grilled Della Frittoria bread and then some chestnuts that we've made into a mousse. And then we cover it with uh, vegetables that change from time to time. It could be kale and cauliflower one day and butternut squash and apples the next. And we try and get eight to ten of these vegetables on the dish at one time. It's really a dish that shows you exactly what's in season at the moment you're eating it. So the Trace Burger is just my interpretation of a classic burger. It's uh, a griddled brioche bun, lots of pickles mixed with a dill aioli, a brant beef patty, uh, lots of shallots over the top, plenty of cheese, a little shredded lettuce, and a side of crispy fries. So our broiled king salmon dish with Tinbring Farms two-year oranges, uh, baby eggplant, black bean glaze, and a basil salad. Uh, it's really just a great collaboration with uh, Linda over at Tinbury Farms. She's got these oranges that take two years to harvest on the tree. It's kind of my interpretation of a miso glazed fish dish, but uh, instead of miso using fermented black beans from Chinatown that I found. Uh, the idea is that the glaze is sweet and spicy. Uh, you get a good bit of caramelized flavor from, the, uh, from roasting it in the salamander. Uh, but in, in the end of the dish is very luxurious in texture. So the skillet roasted New York strip, it's uh, pan roasted to get a nice big brown crust on it. So one of the keys to the roasting the steak in the skillet is cooking it in a bit of brown butter. Uh, once you get a nice crust on the steak, you add butter, let it start to brown, add some nice aromatic herbs like garlic and thyme, and as you baste the steak, those flavors really start to penetrate the meat. The roasted grapes have this super heady aroma from the sugars in the grapes and the oils from all of the herbs. So to finish the plate, we have this awesome beef vinaigrette. It's made with roasted beef bones, a little veal stock, red wine vinegar, and rendered marrow fat. The roasted beet salad is really a good example of what we do here at Trace. We've got persimmons and beets from Linda Tenbring's farm. We've got greens that are grown on our roof in the aquaponics system. Uh, we place down the persimmons, the beets. We add a little burrata cheese to richen up the dish. Go over it with our greens, some pistachio to add a bit of nuttiness to it, and then top it with a bit of white truffle honey that we make from our bees.
before you go out and see the city, stop by and enjoy some of its cuisine. Healthy start, power lunch, high energy dinner, and awesome drinks. All downstairs at Trace. <laughs>